Okay, this is how to get started with Robot C Virtual Worlds for the EV3 robot. So first you're going to want to click on your Robot C shortcut. And it should open up a window something like this. Uh, uh, a few things you want to check. Um, under Robot, there are several things that need to be selected. Robot, um, under Compiler Target, we need to make sure that Virtual Worlds and not Physical Robot is selected. So you want the dot next to Physical, uh, or next to Virtual Worlds. Um, under Lego Brick, uh, and we can skip over that platform type. Right now you see that we have Lego Mindstorms EV3 selected. If that is not selected, you go down to Lego Mindstorms, and then you would select EV3 here. Um, let's see. You'll notice that if you were using the physical robot, you would need to work with the firmware and download the EV3 Linux kernel. Um, but in this case, you do not. So uh, the platform needs to be EV3. Compiler target needs to be Virtual Worlds. Up here in Window, uh, you will notice that it says select virtual world to use. There are a number of virtual worlds that we'll eventually we'll get to, but uh, when you're starting, we're going to want to start with the challenge pack for EV3. Select that. Now you will go to File, Open Sample Program, and uh, we already have something opened up, but I'm going to click on EV3. And, and you might have said virtual worlds, but uh, we're going to want to go to virtual worlds, then EV3. And in here, we're going to start with motor commands. And we will choose, let's say, swing turn left. It will open up the program. Notice we still haven't seen anything of the virtual world environment. Uh, in order to do that, we need to compile the program right here and then download to the robot. And when we download to the robot, now we will see this additional window open up. This window is the virtual world's environment. And we're going to look at the first program. And I'm going to click on Start Challenge. And a couple of things in the virtual world's environment. This arrow starts the program. This obviously restarts. The house takes you back to the home environment. And you can change your views. Let's check the number two. It's an over, uh, uh, you know, an overhead view. Uh, the number three allows you to use your mouse and look at it from different ways and was allowing you to control the view. Um, these other things we'll get to later. Uh, let's just look at the home environment just to make sure that's where all of the uh, different um, tasks are. Um, and notice these are all basic movement tasks. First program, moving forward, etc, etc. Then once you finish that you could start on the sensors programs and that's a whole different set of tasks. And then program f flow, search and rescue, and utility tables. This, this scrolls up and down. You can also change your robots. Uh, right now we just have the basic EV3. Uh, the arm touch uh, has a touch sensor on this arm out in front, and so um, you can use that for certain sensor tasks. Color front has a double uh, a double color sensor in front. Or, I'm sorry, yes, and then dual color has the color sensors pointed down. That's the main uh, change there. So let's just go back to basic movement, first program, start challenge. And I'm going to hit my arrow, and that will start the program that we had before. And it was a turn. And so that, in this case, that's uh, you, you would have to adjust that to do whatever uh, the task was that you were assigned to do. Moving forward, we'll do more changing the programs, changing the tasks, changing the virtual worlds. Um, but this is your introduction to virtual worlds. Remember, you've got to open a program, then you've got to compile it, you've got to download it, downloading it, 
we'll open the virtual world environment and that's where we'll choose our tasks and start challenges and run the programs to see if they work.